Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be processing about 40 pounds of fresh cut lavender. I'm going to be making some essential oils today using a still kit that I picked up on Amazon. Now there are a few things that um, the kit does not provide for you and that is a good water pump system. So uh, have a hose handy because you are going to need it. Um, you are also going to need a strainer like this. Um, this is kind of a cookie sheet, but this will work. This is just going to sit in the bottom of my pot to keep my flowers off the bottom, so that way they don't burn. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sink that in the bottom of my pot. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with just a few inches of water. There we go, I'm pleased with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start filling my pot full of this lavender. Now you just wanna go ahead and just smash it down, get it all kind of packed in there, real nice and tight. Um, now you wanna pay attention to your laws because not all states allow uh, people to own a still without having a license. So um, keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just pack this down in there. Now what's going to happen is you want to make sure that you know what your altitude is and at what temperature the water is going to boil for your area. Um, you'll need to know that because you don't want to have too much heat, too much steam, because you might explode your pot, so keep that in mind. You just want um, the water to just slowly boil and that will be different, the temperature for depending on what height above sea level you really are. So keep that in mind. I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of press this down, smash it down real good and tight. Kind of pleased with that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my second straining unit. If I can find it. <laughs> All right, where'd I put it? Come on, seriously? All right, so I, I ended up throwing it way the heck over there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just <laughs> press that down. And this really does kind of help pack those flowers in a little bit more. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my top unit. Wanna make sure I can see my heat temperature gauge. Lock this sucker down. So that's gonna create a nice tight seal. I don't want to have steam or anything evaporating out the sides because all of that steam is going to be where my essential oils are going to be. So I've got my water out, so I've got that going, and I'm going to take my hose and start doing a water in, so that way this pot stays nice and cool, and uh, the vapors will come in and start to heat up, then the cold air or the cold water will make it condense back down into a liquid again and we shall see a spout coming out. Now this is kind of like what our earth does with clouds and how we get rain. So that's kind of how it works there. Okay, I think everything's set up and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And we'll be back as soon as we get this thing going and things start working like it's supposed to. See you in a few minutes. Hello everyone, and we're back. So I'm just filling up the very top with my cold water, and uh, I've got some essential oils, as well as the hydrosol that we'll be separating the oil from, coming out into my collection pot. I am really excited, and uh, I'll get my first batch of essential oils. And so we'll be back when we start to get ready to pour it into other containers and strain it off. So I just wanted to show you guys that look, we're having progress. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Bye now. All right, so this is coming down to the very end of what I've got. So it's still kind of dripping just a little bit more, but you can see I've got my oil and my hydrosol. So I will be straining that oil right off that water. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my still off 
of the heat. I'm going to set it down here. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart because I think that all the water has finally cooked out of it. And this is very, very warm, by the way. Where's that last one? There it is. Just go ahead and carefully remove the top of this. And that steam is going to come right out of there. Now I've got some really well cooked <laughs> flowers and steam still coming off so there's not very much in here but you can see the color difference from uh, <laughs> those flowers so there's some good stuff there so um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off I've still got so way more lavender to do so I will be back when I start taking the oil and straining it and uh, separating the hydrosol and the lavender essential oils be back later on. Bye now. Hello everyone, welcome back. So I ended out pouring off all my drippings into a separate container. And as you can tell, water and oil do not mix. So from here on down, I've got my water or my hydrosol. From here up, I've got pure lavender essential oil. Now because I was outside, I am going to need to strain that. So I've got a separate container handy. I'm just going to very carefully take that essential oil off the top, making sure I don't have any water inside my tube and that it's just all pure essential oil. I'm just going to go ahead and put it through my strainer. Now I've just put a little bit of a cap with uh, some cotton cloth on top of that. So all I'll have to do is just remove that and that's going to be my filter. And that is how you make your own lavender essential oil. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, come back for more videos and adventures later on. Bye now.